But first, let's get started with the biggest news stories around the world with Kosher Gator. Kosher, let's start with this huge development in Argentina, which has just elected a president that is conservative, is a libertarian, he is vehemently anti-Marxist, anti-woke. Javier Millet has been called far right, he's been called an extremist, and his rise to power has triggered all the usual lefties who've, uh, well, they haven't been this disturbed since Georgia Maloney was elected as Italy's leader. I'll bring you some of that meltdown later, but first let's hear from the president-elect. Estamos viviendo la locura de la corrección política estúpida, donde básicamente, no, si ustedes no recitan el socialismo cool, si ustedes no son woke, entonces son violentos, son un peligro para la democracia. Vamos, muchacho. Seguro. Sigamos con estas estupideces y, y en lugar de ser 140, vamos a hacer la villa miseria más grande del mundo. Kosher, Argentina has elected Javier Millet after the le leftists have just wreaked havoc in that country. It's once prosperous, now the economy is in ruins, inflation running at between 120 and 150% annually. Uh, this election uh, has surprised many, but when you look at what's happening in Argentina, you can see why they want a dramatic change. 100%. I think Argentina is one of the biggest cautionary tales of our time of how rapidly that decline happened from prosperity to those numbers that you cite right now. Mm. He's an unconventional candidate in many ways. Ways He's got the hair, he's yeah. a TV host, he says kind of things that are beyond, you know, what can... He likes dress-ups. He There's does like dress-ups. Extraordinary footage of him. <laughs> he's, a, he's a bit eccentric, but the thing is, conventional candidates, look where it's gotten them. Yeah. And that's what 150% inflation looks like. They've got a, a little bit of an immigration problem. They've got the culture wars as well, and people just want something different. Um, so here you are. And it was decisive. It was 55-44. It was a decisive blowout. Absolutely. Now, his interviews are going viral across the web, particularly X. Let's have a look at one of these clips where he shares his thoughts on on the left. Al zurdo de mierda no le podés dar ni un pero, milímetro. Pero ¿Me podés definir zurdo de mierda que no Todos lo los que, digamos, los colectivistas, <risa> los que ponen, digamos, o sea, esa idea. A ver, ¿Por qué es... le pones de mierda, digamos? Porque son una mierda. O sea, pero vos si... mezclas... no, pero, ese, pero es que ese si ese pensás descalifica... de... pero no, pero, digo, pero si pensás distinto te van, a, te van a aniquilar. Ese es el punto. Es decir, vos al zurdo no le podés dar un milímetro, porque le das un milímetro y lo tomas para destrozarte. Es decir, usa a Dios, o sea, vos no podés negociar con el zurdo, no se negocia, no se negocia, con esa mierda no se negocia porque te van a llevar. Kosha, he said in that interview, if you give the left an inch, they will use it to destroy. You can't negotiate with left arts, that's a direct quote. He also said, since they can't beat us with real arguments, they use the repressive apparatus of the state to destroy us. Uh, as I said, the country is an almighty mess. He's been dubbed the Argentinian Trump. Can he turn the ship around? Uh, people are predicting chaos, economic collapse, uh, all the things we heard when Trump was elected in 2016. Uh, care to make a prediction? Uh, he definitely has his work cut out for him. <laughs> and I think when things have gone so far off the deep end, it's going to take drastic measures and let's see you know what he does i think it's gonna be a real test will he be allowed to govern or will the, the civil service and other people's kind of instruct what his agenda is but he is putting the kinds of dramatic things out there at least rhetorically such as shutting down entire ministries shutting down entire departments of government and that is the kind of thing it's going to take to turn the ship around but we'll see if he has the steely spine that it's going to require well you mentioned the the bureaucracy there and if they're going to frustrate him like they did trump let's have a look at what he plans for that fat bureaucracy in argentina this video is instructive. Afuera. Ministerio de Cultura. Afuera. Ministerio de Ambiente y Desarrollo Sostenible. Afuera. Ministerio de las Mujeres y Género y Diversidad. Afuera. He wasn't done there. There were a few other departments that were spiked also. Uh, predictably, the post-election meltdown has been enormous. Let's have a look at how these Argentinian socialists are coping with the triumph of Javier Millet. Político, social y económico de la Argentina... 
And Kosha, the Washington Post's unhinged coverage of Argentinian politics was a thing to behold. But let's have a look at The Guardian and how they've reported on this politician. Uh, Wow, they are not coping well. The far right, Millay, uh, Caesar's narrow victory. Far right again there. He's apparently angering the Falklands veterans. Uh, uh, they even are quoting Taylor Swift fans. I don't know what that has to do with anything. And uh, fraud claims echo Trump ahead of... I mean, the, the, the Guardian is not going to cope with this, are they? I mean, they, they, they had the meltdown in Italy with Maloney. She was supposed to be some sort of a fascist. She's turned out to be possibly the most popular European leader at the moment. And uh, they, they're having another moment. The media is going to media, I think. Uh, and Taylor Swift was, was probably in there because it drives clicks, which is <laughs> part of what they're after over here. But look, I think they've got the playbook. Um, even as he was running in the, the previous election before this runoff in July, those things came out. It's rinse and repeat. They're trying to frame him in a certain way. They framed him before the election. It'll continue. But again, 55-44, um, I think the, the people emphatic. were buying into it. It is emphatic. emphatic. Uh, and finally, on, on Argentinian politics, uh, despite Javier Millet, uh, like Trump before him, being called far right and a fascist and likened to Hitler, he is, like Trump, very much pro-Israel. Here he is just a few days before the election waving the Israeli flag. And that is a, a bold move in these times uh, before an election. So, yeah, we know where he stands on these issues.